Taylor Swift and Brooke Shields both experienced this huge level of global fame. And so a lot of people are looking at them and watching them, but very few people are really witnessing them. So on election night 2016, I was filming for this omnibus project about the election in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It was a night where I was filming these Trump's casinos that had gone bankrupt there. And I thought it was an ironic portrait of them. But then as the night went on and as it became clear that Trump was going to win the election, it became like living in a horror movie. It was an awful night. And uh, when I woke up in the morning, I was devastated, in despair, feeling terrified, sad. And I was waiting at 8 a.m. for my ride back to the city, just standing in the strip mall in Atlantic City. And I just noticed a sign that said $5 psychic readings. And without even thinking, I just walked inside never been to a psychic before. And I pulled back this velvet curtain and there was a little table and two chairs and I sat down at the table and no one was there, but I immediately felt incredibly emotional. I felt like I was staring in a mirror at my own desperate, vulnerable state. And um, it was very powerful. And then this psychic came in and she gave me a reading. It was very gentle and comforting and I, I felt better at the end of it. And I paid her $5. And she said, as I was leaving, you know, what do you do for a living? I said, well, I'm a documentary filmmaker. She asked, oh, what do you make documentaries on? And I, at that time, I was finishing a movie. I said, I'm working on this movie about a, a priest who counsels people considering suicide, and it really takes a toll on him. And she said, that sounds like my life. I was like, what? And she said, yeah, you know, people come here in really serious life situations with huge problems that they can't talk to anyone else about. And I was so surprised to hear that because I think I dismissed psychics in my head as something you might do, you know, during a bachelorette party, or I, I saw it as, as something trivial. Mm. And when this psychic said that to me, I realized people come to see psychics at major crossroads in their lives. And that's when I had this idea of, wouldn't psychic readings be an amazing space to get to see this wash of humanity coming to see a psychic and get to see what questions are they asking and why? And what is that experience like for them? One of the things I learned from making this film is that I think psychic readings are not unlike any religious belief system and that it's, it's a way of helping understand the world and process what it means to be human, to be alive, to process loss in some cases. And I think for me, the thing that's always done that is movies and art in a larger sense. And I think that there's a lot in common actually between experiencing art and experiencing a psychic reading. I think a lot of people who will watch this will have very recently watched uh, Pretty Baby or yeah. Miss Americana. Yeah. Um, what, on your side of things, what felt most different about making this? Well, Look Into My Eyes was much more glamorous than Miss Americana <laughs> or Pretty. No, it is a deeply unglamorous movie. <laughs> it's, um, there is not a lot in common in a way, but yeah. I guess, you know, I had the idea for this film before making Miss Americana and Pretty Baby, and I'm so, so glad I got the opportunity to make those two films and then come back to this, because I actually think that what I learned from those films deeply informed this. And in a way, Miss Americana and Pretty Baby, these are two extraordinary women that are very, very different. But one thing they both had in common is they are both watched by the world in an extreme way a lot of people looking at them. And I think that that's what my job was as a documentary director with those films. I think it was to really witness them myself and then find a way to capture them in the films that I was making. And um, I think that we all need witnesses sometimes to better see ourselves. You know, it's, it's like you, it's helpful to look at yourself through the gaze of someone else sometimes to better understand yourself. And I think that I reflected after those two films on my entire body of work so far and what I've learned about making documentaries. And I think a big reason that subjects might agree to participate in the documentary is because they're on this journey of self-understanding and they want to be understood and they want to learn more about themselves. And it is this mirroring, reflecting process when you're the subject of a documentary saying, okay, I'm gonna let you hold up a mirror to me and show me what you see. Mm -hmm. And that is what is happening in the psychic reading too. Someone is coming in and sitting down in front of a complete stranger and saying, I'm going to let you hold up a mirror to me and tell me what you're seeing. And 
it's a very vulnerable position to put yourself in, but it can be a really powerful experience. So what I took away is that there are all these parallels between a psychic reading and the act of documentary filmmaking. And that became something I incorporated into the film.